So I received a letter dated 7th July 2022, addresses me as his worship, the mayor, the city of Harare. The heading of the letter is directive in terms of section 314 of the Urban Councils Act, chapter 29.16. For council to rescind resolutions made by it on 2 June 2022. The minutes of the meeting held by your council on 2 June 22 refer. I've noted a number of resolutions we made in that meeting, the most notable being one, that council appoints a special committee in terms of section 100 of the Urban Councils Act, chapter 29.16, to investigate the Pomona waste to energy project and reporting to council in two weeks time. Two, that council <coughs> mandates his worship the mayor to nominate members of the special committee who include specialists from outside council. Three, that council hereby approves the following as terms of references for the special committee. Four, that the contract between the city of Harare and Geogenics BV on the Pomona waste to energy project be suspended with <coughs> immediate effect. <coughs> Pursuant to the passing of the resolution, your council, through the office of the town clerk, advised the ministry through a letter dated 10 June 2022 <coughs> that they were unable to pay the sum invoiced for the month of May. In terms of your contract, the passing of a resolution does not in any way expunge the obligations set out in the contract by operation of law. The obligations remain pending unless and until a consensus is reached by the contracting party. Needless to say, the future, the failure and or, ne and or neglect to pay the main <coughs> invoice has serious repercussions, not only with respect to council obligations, but also on government, who is the guarantor of the project. Full stop. Your failure and or, and or neglect to pay is resulted in accumulation of arrears, including interest due to the project. In my considered view, the above mentioned resolutions were gratuitous. I don't know what he means. <laughs> but anyway, he, he writes like that. Were gratuitous and not in the interest of the inhabitants of Iran and the public at large, comma, a burden which is now cascading to the inhabitants and therefore cannot be allowed, full stop. In any case, in our reading of your contract with Geo Genics, I don't know who is now reading it, but uh, he is one, anyway. In any case, in our reading of our contract with Geo Genics BV, there is no provision for unilateral action by either party to suspend the same. <coughs> I accordingly direct in terms of section 3.141 of the Urban Councils Act, chapter 29.15, that council immediately respond, resigns the resolution cited above, which seek to suspend the contract between the city of Harare and Geogenics BV on the Pomona West to Enrich. <coughs> project. Okay. So, this is the letter. I don't know the provisions of the act that we refer to. We need to advise the councillors what they say. Do you have a copy of the act? So, while the copy of the act is being looked for, so this is the letter that we have to, 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 to discuss. Uh, or to take note or to be in a position to fully uh, deal with in this council. We... Yes, Your Worship, you now have uh, <coughs> a section in question, is section 314? The section is, is 314. 314, Minister May, is the Urban Council Act. Minister May, reverse suspend, rescind resolutions, decisions, ETC of councils. Subsection one, where the minister is of the view that any resolution, decision, or action of a council 
is not in the interests of the inhabitants of the council area concerned or is not in the national interest or public interest, the minister may direct council to reverse, suspend, or rescind such resolution or decision, or reverse or suspend such action. Any directive direction of the minister in subsection 1 to a council shall be in writing. Subsection 3, the council shall, with all due expedition, comply with any direction given to it in terms of subsection 1. Okay. Then the subsection 3.315, minister's power to direct certain action. I will see you